Well, good morning. I'm Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, hallelujah and praise God to the Lamb that was slain for our iniquities. I hope that you've had such a wonderful and blessed time out at your respected churches this weekend. I know out at LFBC we had a, a wonderful and glorious time that the altars were filled up, and a lot of times we'll wonder, well, does that really make a difference when the altars are filled? What that leads me to believe, nothing to do with the preaching, nothing to do with the loving. What it leads me to believe is that people are coming to the altar and they're repenting of their sins because why? They want to get closer to the Lord Jesus Christ and they want him to once again, hallelujah, to revive them, oh Lord. And so we were looking out at LFBC this weekend at Revival. That's the series Series that we're in, talking about being a Christian, talking about being on fire for God, uh, not just about uh, walking through the motions, doing the habitual motions of going to church. And you know, so many times people today, we see that there's such a large percentage of individuals that call themselves Christians, but yet they, they cannot understand why they're not uh, uh, being able to get victory in their life. Uh, they're still falling uh, victim to sin. They're still falling victim uh, to the enemy and to Satan in their life. And they're wondering, well, I go to church every time the doors are open. Why am I not receiving victory over my enemies? And that's what we talked about uh, out this weekend. And I want to look at that just for a moment. And, and, and really what I want us to understand this morning is, and the question out would be, are you spirit filled or are you just spirit sealed? And we're going to look at that. But before we do, let us pray. Your gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just love you. We thank you so much, Father, for the glorious weekend that we had out at Leonard's Fork this week. And, uh, Father, we just ask you to continue just to bless us as we continue to grow closer to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, we looked at 1 Samuel and in chapter, chapter 4 and in verse 3, talking about the Israelites. And they, were, they had went up against battle against the Philistines. The Philistines is a type and shadow of, of evil, a type and shadow of Satan, of darkness, and the Israelites were the children of God, and, and but they were not living for God at this time. And so they went up against the Philistines in battle without praying to God, without repenting of their sins, without even asking God if that's what the, if that's what the Lord would have them do. So they were not in fellowship with God. Even though they were children of God, they were not in fellowship with God. And the word of God here says in, in chapter four, verse three, it says, and when the people were coming to the camp, talking about the ones who just uh, been in battle with the Philistines, the elders of Israel said, uh, why has the Lord allowed us to be beaten by our enemies, the Philistines? It says, let us go fetch the Ark of the Covenant uh, of the Lord out of Shiloh, which was a city close by, and bring it back unto us, that when we do bring it back into our camp, that he may save us and allow us to win the battle against the Philistines. Well, you see, the problem with this is they still were not asking God if this is what he wanted them to do. They were not repenting of their sins. They were not trying to, to regain a closeness with God through the proper manner of going back and, and letting revival come into their hearts. They were just trying to win the fight. So they were wanting to use the ark as some type of good luck charm, as some type of magic wand. And so many times Christians do that today. They, they, they don't understand why they go to church Sunday morning, Sunday night, and Wednesday night, and they're not gaining victory over their enemy. They wonder, well, if I throw another 20 in the offering plate, why am I still having the problems that I'm having? And the fact is, it's not about whether or not they're habitually going through the motions. It's about that they're not retaining God in their heart, and they're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead, guide, and direct them into that victory. One of the scriptures I want to look at, another one here this morning, is in Ephesians. And in Ephesians, the first one is in Ephesians chapter 1 in verse 13. And it says, In whom, talking about Christ, you also trusted after that you learned the word of truth. And it says, The gospel of your salvation, in whom also after you believed, you were sealed. Okay? You were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So we see that after we believe in Christ, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. After we, we accept Christ into our heart, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. But there's a difference between being just sealed, hallelujah, and being filled with the Spirit of God. You know, I, I asked them out yesterday, I said, you know, or I told them this, I said, just because your spirit sealed, hallelujah, does not mean that your spirit filled. And then the next scripture I want to look at, is also in Ephesians, and it's in Ephesians 5, verse 18. It says, And be not drunk with wine within excess, but be filled 
with the Holy Spirit. And in the original language here, be filled is a continual. It's a, to be being filled, to continuously be filled, being filled with the Holy Spirit. And so we see that it's not just about being sealed uh, until the day of redemption or being sealed by the Holy Spirit upon uh, your salvation and upon your conversion. But in order to gain victory in life, in order to gain victory over your enemies, in order to gain victory over sin and Satan and what he's trying to do to your family and to your life, we must continuously be being filled with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Well, dear ones, as you go off to work or to school or to play this morning, I want you to remember this, that being a Christian is the greatest thing ever. But if you're only sealed and you're not filled, then you're not getting the full effect of what God wants to do in your life. It's great that we're going to go to heaven if we're sealed by the Holy Spirit and that God, that nothing can pull us from his hands. But God has a purpose for us here in this life, a purpose for us here in this world. And that purpose is to make a difference for the kingdom of God and to lead others into their saving grace and into that conversion experience. And the only way that we're ever going to do that, hallelujah, is to be being filled with the Holy Spirit. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warnock, and I'm the pastor at Lindsborough Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing there. Have a great day. Join us at www.lettersfork.org for all of our newest sermons, and God bless you today.